Mr. Fadi? Yes, sir. Because whatever we were gonna learn, we need to be, we need to know what right about the concept. What is an oracle? Oracle, oracle is a word uh, derived from goddess, I think. <laughs> that is what I heard. Kiran? Yeah, it's a, it's a Greek goddess. Hello, Kiran? Yeah, sir. I know it's an RDBMS software and it's based on God's rules. Okay, okay, that's right. So, no, I'm asking what is an oracle? The abbreviation will be there, right? For SAP, it's their system automation programming. Yeah, or abbreviation will be there, right? Okay, now I'll tell you, thereafter I'll share you. Oracle means. Oracle operate. is a Greek term, I think. Yeah, it's a Greek term, and oracle abbreviation is average, acknowledge, computing, logical engine. Okay. It's, it's a Greek word only. And, uh, the abbreviation is there for Oracle. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, you know, uh, sorry, uh, I'm insisting every time you and this Rajit don't take it otherwise. There are n number of ERPs for there, even though why we were majorly using Oracle as an ERP. So what is an ERP? Hello, Sajid. Immediately picking up from the concepts ERPs and why we need to in the market n number of ERPs are there, why we are using majorly Oracle as a major ERP and what's the use of and what's the use by using with Oracle and what's the disadvantages with the other ERPs. These things we will cover first of all at the beginning class of Oracle and uh, here in Oracle Finance we will be majorly touching up the Oracle core financial modules like general ledger account payables, account receivables, cash management and fixed assets. Along with this, we will be covering with some of the concepts like uh, e-business taxation or IELTS, Indian localization concept. In these two, any one of these we will cover. If time permits, we can go with high expenses or high procurement. In Oracle Finance, majorly we will be concentrating core financial modules. And uh, in Oracle, uh, I'll briefly tell you about in five modules, which of I want to discuss. In Oracle General Ledger, I'll discuss about so purpose is majorly to manage financial information. And about if you come for Oracle Tables, the purpose is about to manage suppliers and Oracle receivables. The purpose of it is majorly to manage the customers. Payables is for suppliers and receivables is for customers. And about our cash management concept, which we demo this module takes up the purpose of bank reconciliation and Oracle fixed assets is used for managing the assets concept. So these five modules are the core financial modules in Oracle, along with some other modules that are also there. Because if you if you uh, very thorough with this, you can go with some other modules also, the modules which I have, which I have given you right in the beginning of the session, like EBT or IL. EBT, is actually, EBT was there in 11, 11 conferences because now 12C we are using. Here it will be completed with IL, Indian Documentation Concepts, and uh, expenses on my procurement that we can discuss orally or if you are interested with this and if you time permits and if you have time to learn, we can go with high expenses and net procurement also in Oracle Finance. And here you will be touching up technically only 20% of technical part, but financially we will be covering up up to 80% of the concepts in Oracle Finance planning part. And uh, Kiran, do you have any questions for me in Oracle Finance or whatever your experience? Any concepts you have to learn mind to take a class, then these five modules I IL S type of uh voice is not if you Hello, sir, not having much knowledge about the fans for it. Because these are the core financial modules. If you uh, you could even if you search in Google or anywhere, you will be getting first of all Oracle Finance means you will be getting these five modules. And uh, here, uh, that's why I'm asking, in level you are able to learn the course, Oracle Finance. 